In today's Hobby Farm Guys Breed Spotlight, I'll feature a breed of goose that may not be on your radar, but maybe it should be, the Shetland Goose. I'm Brian, and if you're considering getting a goose or a geese, I just might convince you to consider the Shetland. A goose less common than the Emden, Pilgrim, or Toulouse breeds you're probably familiar with. This goose breed gets its name from the place it originated, the Shetland Islands in Scotland, which is the northernmost place in the United Kingdom. Though we know where it's from, records specifying their development were not kept. It is considered a very hardy breed and was often used to graze pastures to rid them of parasites, preparing these areas for grazing sheep. They can typically sustain themselves entirely through foraging given enough pasture. They'll even successfully forage through the snow. The Shetland is a breed displaying sexual dimorphism, that is, it's easily identified by its markings. It's an unusual trait for a goose, although it is also true of pilgrim and cotton patch geese. The goose has a head, neck, and upper body with gray highlights and a white underbelly. Ganders, on the other hand, have all-white plumage. Even the goslings are autosexed, with males being all yellow, while females have gray marks on the back. They have a shorter bill than most geese, which is ideal for foraging. The bill is pale orange, turning reddish or pink near the nostrils, and the eyes are blue. The Shetland has a broad back and a well-rounded keelless breast. They have powerful wings, making them good flyers, so they may require wing clipping. Mature geese weigh around 10 to 12 pounds and are said to provide an excellent carcass for roasting. The Shetland does retain many of the characteristics of wild geese, such as flocking together during non-mating periods and forming bonded pairs that mate for life. So if you choose to have a flock of Shetland geese, consider an equal number of geese and ganders. If removed from the nest, Shetland geese will lay about 30 eggs per year. They're prone to brooding and will typically sit a clutch of eggs once 12 to 18 have been laid. They make excellent parents in raising their goslings, though some strains are reported to have difficulty successfully hatching. If that weren't enough, they also make good guard geese. First imported to the U.S. in 1997, they can be difficult to find. They're not yet recognized by the American Poultry Association in its standard of perfection, though that may change in the future, and they're currently being studied by the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy. So that's the Shetland Goose. Did I convince you to get some? After all, it's hardy, friendly, delicious, self-sufficient, a good guardian, and beautiful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section, and if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. We post Spotlight videos every Monday, so make sure you're subscribed to see them all. Go ahead, do it now. Thanks everyone, and happy hobby farming.